Hi, I'm Brent. We've got a video update for you today on the Subaru Turbo Diesel range of models. Now, of course, if you've watched any of our videos in the past, you'll know that we had a lot of fun campaigning a Turbo Diesel MY10 model in the Australian Rally Championship um, several years ago, and you can search our YouTube channel to have a look at some in-car footage of that car. But this particular model is almost identical to my rally car, and we're starting to find a lot more cars here in Sydney and around the world contacting us via email for technical assistance on how to solve uh, DPF problems, that's a diesel particulate filter or built up soot in the inlet manifold. So in the next couple of minutes we're going to talk to you about what you need to know to save yourself some long term maintenance, give you a more reliable car and at the same time ensure that your turbo diesel Subaru goes that little bit better. And what you'll see behind me is the um, completion of one of our vehicle on-car soot cleaning updates which we've done for this particular customer and I'll get my cameraman to come around the side and I'm just going to show I've, um, I've got the the parts dismantled out now what you got to remember on the Subaru turbo diesel you've got it's a boxer engine turbos down the bottom here compressor hose comes up around through here into the intercooler through a connector hose and down into the throttle body so I'll just take these parts out so you can have a bit of an idea of what it's like We'll get them out of the way. And down inside here is the electronic throttle body where the compressed, the uh, boosted air goes into the inlet manifold and down into the four cylinders. Now, one thing I do want to touch on is some of the things that can cause DPF problems, even though you may be servicing the car properly. And we've learned to understand that one of those is this hose here, um, originally from Subaru, sometimes does fail and it cracks at this mount here, so it will lease, leak pressurized air before it even gets into the engine which changes the fuel mixture at the engine and then secondly this hose here which connects to the throttle body there sometime, sometimes when it's um, not maintained properly you might have a mechanical problem or your car's not put back together properly this hose here won't be connected to the intercooler properly as well so they're two major things that I want you to make sure that you keep an eye on on your turbo diesel Subaru. Now if you are driving the car consistently in city traffic or you're not letting the car get into regen mode which allows the engine ECU to um, clean the diesel particulate filter you will get a build up of soot in the DPF because the DPF is a ginormous filter in the exhaust manifold designed to clean out all that black soot before it goes out the exhaust and then the ECU puts the engine in on mode where it effectively turns that DPF into a furnace and burns off the soot and it eventually migrates its way out the exhaust in a lot finer particles but doesn't um, appear as black soot. Now if you don't look after the car and environment to allow that to happen, the diesel particulate buildup in the DPF can get more and more and more to the point where the back pressure is measured by the um, sensors down there and I'll just get my cameraman to have a look. You'll see one of the sensors is this one here and I'll get a photo to try and show you as well and there's a Bundy tube that comes off here as well down there which measures the before and after and actually this this part all down here sorry to get my cameraman again this part here is part is all the exhaust manifold coming off the turbo which has got the catalytic converter and the DPF in it and I'll get you a still photo to have a look at that now if it measures the before and after back pressure either side of the DPF filter in that assembly is too high then it indicates that it's blocked it will try to regen it as well but if it can't it'll start flashing the light on the dash or in the extreme situations the light will come on on the dash and the car will start going into limp mode and all that kind of stuff and won't run properly. So then what do you do? You need to put it into a manual regeneration mode using um, some software which we sell separately which is part of the Ecutech cable tuning kit. You can buy the cable for a very really low cost and do it yourself if you've got access to a laptop or you'll take it to your local Subaru dealer or someone who's got the proper scan tool to do it. Now the problem is if it's so badly blocked you can't do a, even a forced regen, you're up for a replacement of that DPF which can be in the vicinity of anywhere between four and six thousand dollars for that whole assembly. So what's the solution? Well this is one of the solutions that we have. Separate to the DPF you also have a build up in the inlet manifold of the crankcase ventilation system which has got the um, oily air breathing out of the crankcase into the inlet manifold which then mixes with the exhaust gas recirculation out of the exhaust manifold, which is of course, when that EGR valve is operating, it has um, soot in it. And then that mixes with the uh, 
crankcase ventilation system in the inlet manifold and inside here and down into all of the ports builds up which almost looks like a black shoe polish or almost looks like if you're an Australian person you know what Vegemite looks like, looks like that in the inlet manifold and it slowly restricts and limits the amount of air passing through the engine and affects the performance. Now of course you want to know how to get rid of it, you can either pull the whole inlet manifold apart, wash it out in a chemical bath and put it all back together or you can put one of these types of devices on your car, find a specialist who's got the cleaning tool. So what this is here is a, uh, a, an electrical pulsing device which runs off the car's vehicle battery. You connect this up to the high pressure line of a workshop, fill it full of a chemical, it's almost like oven cleaner for the inside of your engine. And then the injector nozzle, which you'll see in there on the Subaru turbos, fits down on there. And then it runs, and as the engine idles at a certain RPM, it pulses the chemical into the engine. As it flows through the engine, it then cleans that soot out and it goes out through the exhaust and then cleans the inside out to make the car run a lot better. Now, part of that process is also what we call a DPF wash because the chemicals, after it's cleaned the inside of the inlet side of the engine, you've got a lot more raw mechanical cleaning going through the engine coming out the outside. It will then start washing the DPF and the catalytic converter and the sensors in the exhaust system, which will then give you another improvement in the overall performance of your car. So I wanted to show you this car today because this car came in with a whole range of DPF problems. The customer hadn't serviced the car properly. The previous workshop we'd done the oil change didn't reset the oil dilution, which is a chemical um, prediction of the engine ECU to allow for long-term oil change service intervals. So if you change the oil on this engine, you must reset the oil dilution level because if you don't, it will then trigger another fault code which can come on on the dash and trigger the same display on the dash as a flashing DPF. And some people think what is actually a DPF issue is actually an oil dilution issue, which can be just a reset as part of your normal service intervals of your car. So of course, these are the things that you need to be aware of and these are the ways that you can clean things up and these are the things that you can save in long-term maintenance of your Subaru or your turbo diesel car, because this is a common problem on Mitsubishi Tritons, Pajeros, and also to a lesser degree on some petrol engines as well. But if you're looking at Subaru turbo diesels, what I've explained to you today, if you've got a problem with your DPF, um, this is something that we can save. This particular client was worried that he was going to have to pay for a brand new DPF. We've managed to save it, we've washed it down without having to remove it, and now this car is going to go a hell of a lot better than what it did when I first drove in a couple of, the other, uh, a couple of days ago. So there you have it. If you're interested in understanding a little bit more about performance tuning of your Subaru Turbo Diesel, that's one of those um, improvements allows us to adjust the settings in the ECU to further save you money on long-term soot buildup. So the, the cost of the tune will actually pay for itself in the long term without having to pay for costly inlet manifold cleaning or hopefully you'll never have to pay for something like this. But of course, um, you'll find some more information on our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Have a look at some of the pictures that I'll load to the bottom of this video. And I truly hope the time I've taken to explain this to you hasn't confused you, but you can watch it again to try and understand a little bit more on how you can look after your turbo diesel no matter where you are in the world. But for today, um, I'm Britt Middleton. Thanks for watching.